Hello everyone, Dr. Thomas Manton IV here. You Hi. see the beautiful background behind me. Very beautiful place. It's now August 9th, 2022, just a few minutes after midnight. And um, see the exact time to be precise. It is 12.30 a.m. And it's about, I guess, seven hours, eight hours before the voting starts in Kenya on election day for the presidential election. So this is uh, now the, the first few moments of the day before the voting. I want to just make that clear. And I'm date stamping this. This is a private video because the Lord has not released me to speak out in public this time around about the election process. Though the Lord spoke to me uh, three years ago in 2019. Can you imagine? I was praying one day. And I just had a felt out of curiosity. I asked the Lord, who is going to be the next president of Kenya? Who will be the fifth president of Kenya? And the Lord spoke to me immediately. The name. He told me the name. And I have not told anyone for three years. That's trustworthiness in the prophetic. People tell me I'm the most trusted name in prophecy over the nation of Kenya. God has spoken to me as many as 1,000 prophecies for the nation of Kenya. All of them have happened and are in motion of happening. Uh, so many things, some files were lost along the way. <laughs> I had so many more, but I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds in print, recorded. And we estimate, uh, well, an educated uh, observation is that no one has been spoken to by God about the nation of Kenya more than Thomas Manton IV. I'll tell you why that's true. Because if they were, if they had been, they would publicize it. Prophet is one to speak. A seer can see. An intercessor can pray. People can hear things too. But uh, usually on a lesser scale. But in the governmental office of the prophet, when God speaks so many things, the prophet has the microphone, you know, to amplify it to the world, to the masses of people. And um, I didn't want to get into the wrangling, you know, of this. And God never told me, come out and say the name of the next president, though I've known it for three years. In the last couple of weeks, week or two, I've just hinted at, you know, said in passing to a few people. Just because I got a little bit tired of, you know, waiting. But today is election day. And many, you know, it's, we've crossed over into August 9th. And in a few hours, the people are going to go to vote in the morning. Now it's midnight. And in seven hours from now, people are going to be on their way to the polls to vote. So the name God told me is William Ruto. And then he said it again one day. He said he went like this, like, it's really going to happen. I thought, well, that's great. And then I, didn't, I never felt the need to come out and tell everyone. People fill my inboxes with requests. Everybody's asking me. They had expected me, as usual, to announce ahead of time. And I, I just thought, the Lord doesn't want me to because... He doesn't want me to get all mixed up into that rigmarole of, you know, you go on social media, you post the name, then people that hate the guy for a reason, some reason that they have, maybe they're mixed up in their head, and then the opposition, and then they want to fight, and they want to curse at you, they want to try to curse at you, and, you know, slander you, and hurt you, and attack you. I thought, well, I, I don't need that. I don't need it. Think about it from the point of wisdom. And I have no obligation to tell anybody anything lest the Lord speaks to me. 
unless he tells me specifically, go out and say this. He's very good at talking to me. By the way, God talks to me every day, you know. And uh, I'm here getting a little fresh air from the ocean breeze. It's awesome. You can see it behind me. That's the, the you hear the waves. So that's it. That's all I wanted to say. I just wanted to document this. And all the other races of, uh, for governors and all that in Kenya. I know a lot about, uh, well, I could say I could think about a few that I feel a specific uh, inclination for, but I'm not going to go into that now. So we pray for the peace of the nation, that everything goes well and the way God wants, because we know there's a choice that has to be made. And that's all I'm going to say. There's a lot I could say. I can go on and on and on, but I just wanted to do this very quickly. And I've done it. So be blessed, everyone. Love you much. May share this later. May leave it in the file. We'll see. God is on the throne. Kenya's going forward in a great way in Jesus' name. Be blessed, everybody. Amen.